you guys see this clip first? It's a way lot more than we caught last week. How's it guys? For some other idiotic reason I somehow deleted my intro video for this video. But anyway guys this is the first session after 9 weeks of horrible lockdown. So AJ and I just set out to do Jongensontein in search of some Galyun and Red Romans and um, well we were hoping to find a muscle cracker but unfortunately we could not find one. And then just a special thanks to Stefan van Eistien from Still Fishing. In this video you guys will see I'm fishing with a brand new Horizon Medium. Stefan gave me this rod as a thank you for bringing him in a new business. And I have you guys to thank for this. For without your guys support and you guys supporting Stefan via watching my channel. Um, it wouldn't have been possible. But yeah, Stefan, thanks for this rod. I fully enjoyed fishing this rod. And guys, if you want to spoil yourself with an awesome, awesome edible rod. This is the rod to go to. Still Fishing is soon launching their online store. So be on the lookout for that. As soon as that happens, I will let you guys know. And be on the lookout for the link in the descriptions. Well, the first try, I was about a minute in. I had my first bite. Felt like it was a small halloween or Fairly size, fairly big size black tail, but you know, got stuck and I fortunately lost it. But yo, it's lucky to be out again, guys. Yee! Love it. Lekker. Where is the mooi sticky broy? Oh, see, my bro. Woo, yes, please. Look at that caramelization. Yee! Nanas. Small tour circle. And remember the bait is really soft so you don't have to be too worried that your bait needs to be under your hook like per normal with a circle hook and the bait is soft, soft enough for that circle hook to do its job and um, just waiting for a lacquer galloon my bro I just told AJ it feels like a galloon should pull the rod out of my hand and then this fish grabbed me <laughs> this feels like a small galloon <laughs> well at this stage I'll 
Altijd een streepje. Quarantine, mijn broertje. Ah. Oh, the rocks in the way. Wave, wave, I need a wave. Oh, this is not gonna end good. Hold on. Kom swel, kom swel. Wait, I'll go away. Obus, get Obus. Jan Bruin. Bijt nou zo iets, maar het is hard gegrijp. Jan Bruin, bijt. Hé, Blacktail. Blacktail, mijn blaadje. Ja, bro. Lekker. First fish of the day. Little Blacktail. Goed, damn it. Like I said, it's just amazing being back in the water. This couple of weeks made us appreciate the ocean even more. Look at that circle look. Right in the corner, perfect at the rock. Give this bad boy back. Me and AJ decided that um, even though I got the black tail now, we had two throw each, but um, it's a bit too quiet for our liking. There should be a, a galoon by now. So, just behind me, there at the back, it's a really nice spot for some galoon and red roman. So, we're thinking of going there before the tide starts to push too much and it gets too high because we can always come back to this spot and um, catch ourselves a lacquer fish. Yep. Like I just into a red Roman here. He was stuck for some time with it, but it swam out of his hole. Seems like it's coming. It's either a yellow belly or a red Roman. But my money is on the yellow belly. It's stuck again. <laughs> Diving for every hole. It doesn't it eat. Stuck right in front of his feet again. <laughs> Oh, well, there he's coming with him. Come on. Yellow belly. Yo, some more yellow belly, huh? Sure. Well, AJ got himself a lucky yellow belly. Oh. Gave you some troubles, AJ. Yes. Every rock. Every bloody crepe as he went in. Beautiful. Eventually I got it out. Eventually. <laughs> so yeah, get it back. Did he get back it on? Chocker? No. <laughs> well, it was chocker from the first throw. Left on the, on the phone, but I just put some um, a la crickle. Uh, that's my next throw as well. It's beautiful fish. Nice. Stunning colors on this fish. Look at him. Okay. I want to share a little Southern Cape secret with you, or Halyun secret. It's a small red crab. It's about the size of a two rand coin. Absolutely dangerous in this part of the world. So are you prepared as you take the Take the shell off. Just 
Just remove this little shell. Top shell, you remove that. Just throw that away. I went a bit bigger with my hook. This is a 3.0 opposed to your normal 2.0. So what you do is you just insert between your two legs the hook exactly like you would do for a steam rust, just with the shell off and you push it through so that it sits like that because this is top secret stuff this and then share all of all of this information with everyone so you can find yourself very lucky and then you just cotton it on Top legs up the line. You guys can see up the line. Make it better for casting. Work it down, just secure it so you know it is secured over the shank of the hook and the eye of the hook. Let's get all of those tentacles, all of those nippers down, all of the pinches. Get your hook nice and proud. So I upscaled my tackle a bit because um, you never know you might get a cracker on a bait like this. Massive volume, three, four, four and a half kilo fish. And um, red Romans, love it. So opposed to a 2 -oh, I went to a 3 -oh, and opposed to a 6 -oh, hooks net, I went to a 6 -five. Might still be a lit little bit too light. Actually you should go to like a 7 -oh or 7 five. But um, let's hope the 3 -oh will be okay. Or this, or let's hope six five will be okay. This rod was already geared up for uh, my bowman, so I'm just going to use that. So I'm going to go with my Evo and 30 pound JDB Ultra Tough Twin Power 10,000 no 80 pound braided leader. Um, I usually don't fish a braided leader when I'm fishing for volume, but like I said, it might be a cracker. Let's catch him. To a small Roman baby, a baby tomato, cocktail tomato. There we go. Oh, not as small as I thought it was. A oh, red Roman, probably just over a kilo. Got it in an awkward grip there. This one is over the legal size limit, but um, still gonna put it back. We like to protect our reef species and let them grow. Okay, wait, wait, wait. got him. <laughs> they die quite easy, so let's get this one back. Yeah. There you go, it's good and strong. Get a lack of one or two more. So, a quarter. Yeah. There's a quarter of a Arikrekel or Periwinkle doing the job at the moment. Not the prettiest of looking bait, but it's a natural bait and it works. Straight after that, Red Roman, I'm onto a small fish again. Seems like there's a bit of activity. Guppy. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> monster! <laughs> Guys, look at this monster! This is what you call a bonsai red roman. Still beautiful colors on the fish. <laughs> yeah, it's a cherry tomato, like I just says. So, guys, look at the colors of that fish. Absolutely stunning. A little circle look. Get up big, my bro. Swells are pushing us off this rock, we need to move. 
Tide is pushing. Come on, Sander, move quick. I start to sail along these ocean waves. Nobody knows, nobody knows how to find us. It's turning out to be a perfect day. <laughs> like tasty. <laughs> Saloon, my bro. I moet hier zo bij mijn bladje. Maar de zwaal chased us off with the tide that started to push. So we're gonna focus more on Galun. I think we got a spot. It's absolutely beautiful. There's some more senior Galun here. Hi, Jay. Ha. Black guy. Let's catch some fish. It's a way lot more than we caught last week. So we moved again. The only reason why we moved is that um, there was a seal that moved into that hole. And um, where there's a seal, we won't catch a kalyun. That I can promise you. But um, we're looking for another kalyun spot. And we see a couple of spots here. These are like a bad end zone. I think it's the year shot more. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so fun. Disappear into this atmosphere where there's water's clear, yeah. We don't have to go back to what we used to. There's some rock in the water. Another rock there at the back. There's a lot of rolling water coming in. It's really nice, it's edible fish. I reckon there's going to be a halloon or something here. Might even be a cob, there's a bit of sand in between the rocks, so... But yeah. I'm gonna fish for a halyun. A halyun, my bla! Black tail or a small halloon or something. Feels more like a black tail. Correct. Black tail. Well, guys, look at the colors of this black tail. You can see it's feeding on the sand, so it's bends in with its area. And um, that's why it's so light in color. Check the one that we caught earlier on, it was a lot darker. Um, because it's feeding between the muscles and between the rocks. Oh, getting warm, man. We've had like three seasons in one day. Cold this morning. And it starts raining. Now it's getting warm. Get this jacket off. I don't know where the you know. But one thing I can tell you. Much more fun out here than sitting in home. Sitting at home the whole day. It's really not lacquer. It's boring. Jeez, I miss this ocean. It's lacquer to be out and about fishing for the change. Sander, what the hell are you doing? No, guys, I live for fishing. Live for the ocean and live for the salt. And I live for fishing. Right, lekker! It's 
go and look for a fish. It's about time we catch one again. It's a red roman because it's stuck every second rock that it can get. Well, that's actually a surprise. Uh, wasn't throwing in best red roman spots known to man but we've managed to land a beautiful red roman actually they had me a bit confused because i was fishing for galeon and um, when i hooked it it actually felt like a galeon behaved exactly like a galeon and then about two three winds into the fish um, i felt no something different this uh, typical behavior like a red roman dives into every hole that it can find and uh, guys it's absolutely beautiful fish these um, i love them they're beautiful fish it's... just look at this coloration of the fish blue markings and yes look at this gill plates the colors on the blue gill plate the colors on the gill plates are just amazing Got this red, red, red body, and then some serious chompers. You don't want to get your fingers stuck in them, and um, they'll properly chow you. But a beautiful fish, nonetheless. Been quite a tough day, so I'll take it. Yo, guys, that brings us to the end of the day. Um, it was quite fun. We had to work hard for the couple of fish that we got. Um, luckily, we got some fish. Nothing amazing. I reckon the yellow belly of AJ was the fish of the day. But some red romans, some small halloon, I didn't even fall in them. They were like 15, 20 centimeters long. Baby things. And, um, but yeah, it was fun. Like I said, it's just lack of being out here and not stuck in the home. Yeah, guys, I'm sure there's going to be many more videos. And um, once again, Stefan, thank you again for this horizon. I really enjoyed fishing with it today. But yeah, we didn't catch a lot of fish on it. Um, don't know where the Kalin were, they were just absent. And yeah, guys, check out Snow Fishing and Snow Buy. And um, check them out on Facebook as well. And then, you know what to do, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that not notification bell. <laughs> I just lost him at me. Yo. Uh, hit that notification bell and subscribe. Cheers.